current decontamination procedures in the Australian poultry industry are either out of date or um, very variable. There's a strong need to create a really robust methodology to better prepare ourselves for an emergency animal disease and also to assist farmers with everyday routine decontamination. In Australia in particular, um, the AusVet plans which have, have a decontamination manual, it's quite out of date. Um, and there's a lot of practices um, that we know are more effective that's currently written in the manual. So it needs a huge overhaul um, so we can update that. And also because there's such variability across the industries, across individual farms with how they decontaminate, they need some guidance with just a general um, decontamination procedure that everyone can follow. We work with the assumption that it's not if it will happen, it's when, and we've just got to prepare ourselves. In the US, um, they had pretty bad avian influenza outbreaks in 2015, and they needed to know if they could restock the farm. So they developed a technique where they could sample the dust um, or whatever else was in the shed and say if they were confident that there was an avian influenza or not. So we kind of want to get to um, that stage where we can um, develop methodology and then develop validation to say that we're happy a farm is clean or not by looking um, at the farm visibly, but also sampling and testing the pathogen load in the environment. It's easier to decontaminate a farm that had a virus infection compared to a bacterial infection because generally viruses need a host and if you get rid of the chickens and you clean the environment you're pretty sure that you got rid of the, the pathogen whereas bacteria they're happy to live on dirt and sludge and rats and other hosts um, salmonella in particular is happy to live in humans so that's um, certainly much harder um, way to decontaminate and that's what this project is looking at as well depending on the pathogen what would be the best method to decontaminate a farm. We expect to complete this project in September 2021. Um, there's a lot of components to this project so it will take some time. Yeah.